So we close the stop clock and then using the pliers we break the bromine ampule. Let in the bromine and start the clock. After five minutes, the bromine has diffused approximately halfway up the tube. After about 30 minutes, the whole of the glass vessel is full of bromine gas and there is still some bromine liquid left at the bottom of the vessel. At the bottom. We're now going to repeat the experiment, but with only a few air molecules in the glass vessel. This will mean pumping out the air using this pump, and we can see how the pressure has fallen on this pressure gauge. So I connect up the pump, Make sure the stop clock is open, turn on the pump, the pressure goes down, pressure gauge has stopped falling, so we turn off the stop clock, turn off the pump, and then remove the pump. We have the bromine in position again. We can now bring up the pliers to break oh, started the clock in the wrong place. Fast. And now we open the stop clock to let the bromine liquid into the glass vessel. Now, after only a few seconds, the tube is just about totally full of the bromine liquid gas. And there's still some liquid left here at the bottom. After five minutes, the tube is almost completely full of the bromine gas with just a small amount of liquid left down here at the bottom. So in this experiment we've seen that in the first case when there was air in the glass tube it took some half an hour for the bromine to diffuse through the air molecules. When we removed most of the air molecules then the bromine diffused just about instantaneously throughout the glass vessel. <laughs>